Today, we look at the most battle-hardened army generals in East Africa. At number seven is General Robert Kariuki Kibochi of Kenya. General Robert Chibochi is the chief of the Kenya Defense Forces following his promotion and appointment on 4th May 2020. General Chibochi was enlisted into the Kenya Defense Forces on 18th May 1979 and underwent officer cadet training until 30th March 1980 and commissioned in the rank of second lieutenant and posted to Signals Battalion. He served with the United Nations as the commander of the Kenyan contingent in the United Nations mission in Sierra Leone from 2000 to 2001. While his decorations include Elder of the Order of the Golden Heart and Chief of the Order of the Burning Spear, among others. General Chibochi was born in Nakuru on 15th August 1959. He is married to Tabitha and blessed with four daughters and a grandson. His military maneuvers are concealed, but most of his countrymen see him as an office of integrity, but no sense in character. He has been successful at literally all the missions that he's been entrusted within the army. At number six is General Patrick Nyamvumba of Rwanda. The former Chief of Defense Staff of the Rwanda Defense Forces and the Minister of Internal Security of the Republic of Rwanda is one of the highly respected and feared generals in East Africa. From 2013 to 2019, he served as the Chief of the Rwandan Defense Force. Before that, from 2009 to 2013, he served in Sudan as Force Commander of the AUUN hybrid operation in Jaffa. A graduate of the Nigerian Defense Academy, Nyamvumba previously served the Rwanda Defense Force as a command of the infantry forces. Commandant of the Rwanda Military Academy in Nyachinama, Musanze district. President of the Military High Court from 2007 to 2009. Chief of Logistics and Chief of Operation Plans and Training from 1998 to 1999. He allegedly used his position to mastermind the arrest, torture and disappearance of people that came out to talk about the atrocities committed by the government of Rwanda. He also works closely with foreign espionage all over the world on behalf of the Republic of Rwanda. Despite the allegations, the gallant officer has always denied having a hand in any of the above-mentioned atrocities. Number five is General Malong, South Sudan. South Sudan has one of the most dangerous army officials and this is attributed to several factors including lack of proper military training. Their soldiers are believed to be so emotional that shooting can erupt among themselves in just a snap of a finger, but a few stand out. During the anti programs in 2013, many of the killings were carried out by a group known as Dot Kebeni, Rescue the President, or Mathiang Anuru, Brown Caterpillar. A militia of Dinkas formed for the protection of President Kiel and Paul Malongo Awan. It didn't take long for the two friends, Kiel and Malong, to be at loggerheads. This came shortly after President Kiel issued a presidential decree replacing Malong with General James Ajonga Maut. Malong left Juba with his officials. There was speculation that Malong and his officials would spark a rebellion and he was asked to return to Juba before reaching his destination. Malong denied the accusations. However, on April 9, 2018, General Malong officially announced the formation of a rebel outfit, the South Sudan United Front, to topple the kill government and to date, he is believed to be fighting for the same cause. Number four is Lieutenant General Peter Elwelu of Uganda. Elwelu is a Lieutenant General in the Ugandan military known formally as the Uganda People's Defense Force, UPDF. He currently serves as the Deputy Chief of the Defense Forces of the UPDF. He was appointed to that position on 24th June 2021. Since 9th January 2017, he has served as the Command of Land Forces, which is the fourth highest position in the UPDF hierarchy. 
Before that, from June 2013 until January 2017, he was the commander of the UPDF 2nd Division based in Imbara. In November 2016, Elwelu, in his capacity as the 2nd Division commander at Makenke Barracks in Imbara, commanded troops that overran the Ruenzururu Palace in Kasese, where at least 153 people, including children, lost their lives. Elwelu is remembered to have asserted that the diseased deserved what befell them because they had refused to listen through negotiations and therefore it was the only way of calming the storm that was lying ahead. He's one of the most feared army officers UPDF first got. This is written all over his face and in his speech. He's reported to have joined the Ugandan military in 1987. He first attended the Tanzania Military Academy in Monduli. Following that, he was posted to the military installation at Kabamba. In 1995, he was transferred to the Gaddafi Military Barracks at Jinja at the Cadet Officer School. He served as a commander within UPDF that invaded Zaire and overthrew Mobutu Sese Seko alongside the Rwandan military. He returned to Uganda in 1999 and was deployed to the northern region to fight Joseph Kony and his Gorilla Lords Resistance Army. During that tour, he survived being shot in the back. When Uganda first sent troops in 2007 under the African Union mission to Somalia, Edwelu commanded the first Uganda military contingent. He received a commendation for his role on the tour from the UPDF Chief of Defense Forces, or General Katumba Wamala. And by the way, if you are new on this channel, we welcome you and please feel free to hit the subscribe button and smash a like for more amazing content. Let's continue. Number three is Geno Jean Bosco Kazura. He's the chief of defense staff Rwanda and former head of the Rwandan Football Federation. Kazura was indicted in the military conducted by the Rwandan Patriotic Front to end the 1999 Rwandan genocide. Later, he served as the deputy commander of the African Union Peacekeeping Force and the Darfur region of Sudan. He has held various positions in the Rwandan military, including the principal staff officer at the Rwandan Defense Force headquarters in Chigali from 2010 to 2013. Brigade and division level commands from 1998 to 2008, as well as the deputy force commander and the chief military observer of the African mission in Sudan. The former president of the Rwanda Association of Football Federation, Kazura, is one of the most respected generals in East Africa due to his expeditions. He is known to have been part of the Rwanda foreign operations that have seen most of his saboteurs brought down. It should be noted that Rwanda has one of the most lethal foreign policies and espionage has left many of their ex-officials dead, including Nyamwasa, who was gunned down in South Africa. April 2010, the football fanatic general traveled to South Africa to attend the World Cup and was detained upon return on allegations that he had failed to obtain permission for the trip required for the army officers leaving the country. It is believed that contact was made between him and the former military officer in exile, who was later gunned down. In 2013, Major General Kazura was appointed as force commander of MINUSA, United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali. General Jean Bosco Kazura was appointed the chief of defense staff in November 2019. Before his current appointment, he was the command of Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College since October 2015. Genojin Kazura is a graduate of the National War College, Abuja, Nigeria, and the Defense Services Command and Staff College, Lusaka, in Zambia. He holds a bachelor's degree in arts and social science, diploma in law, a senior management certificate from Ottawa, Canada, and senior management certificate in France. Number two, General Kale Kaihura of Uganda. Kale Kaihura is a serving general for the UPDF for the benefit of those who could probably have forgotten. Kaihura served as the inspector general of the police since 2005, 
before which he had served in the DRC. He has been criticized by human rights activists for allegedly cracking down demonstrations in Uganda mercilessly. Kale Kaihura was largely perceived among Uganda's political cycles and large section of the population as working for and promoting Museveni's interest through the squashing of Museveni's political opponents. But then one would wonder how one would turn against his own as seen in the Kaihura incident. He was arrested and lined in the court martial on different cases in 2018, but was later released on bail. This followed widespread outcry from concerned citizens regarding increased insecurity in the country. Kidnappings for ransom, wanted murders and robberies. In most cases, he appeared to be ruthless while dealing with political protests and crime in Uganda, typical of a soldier. His tactics of employing former criminals to find criminals made him famous, yet infamous for the national benefit, but he's one of the toughest tactical genius generals that Uganda has ever produced. Number one is Lieutenant Mohozi Kainerugaba of Uganda. Kainerugaba was born on 24th of April 1974. He's a Ugandan Lieutenant General who serves as the command of the land forces of the Uganda People's Defense Force, UPDF, and who was previously the command of the Special Forces Command, SFC. The appointment of Mohozi as the command of land forces was received with a lot of criticism by so many people alleging that President Museveni was preparing his son for presidency. In 1999, Mohozi joined the UPDF at the rank of officer cadet and graduated in 2000 from the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, the British Army's officer training school. The gallant officer saw his first combat action in Soroti, where he commanded a motorized infantry battalion, commanded which played a role in the defeat of LRA in Soroti. Since then, he has embarked on several missions, including deployment in Bundibujo to tackle the ADF, where his battalion defeated them at the Battle of Semliki National Park in March 2007. Later that year, he enrolled at the Command and General Staff College in Leavenworth, Kansas, USA. In 2008, he graduated from Fort Leavenworth, the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College. In July 2008, he became the UPDF first paratrooper after graduating from the U.S. Army's Airborne School in Fort Benning, Georgia. In 2011, Muhozi planned and supervised the entry of special forces into the UPDF campaign in Somalia as part of the AMISO mission. Within a few weeks of the entry of special forces into Somalia, the UPDF successfully expelled Al-Shabaab from Mogadishu. He was one of the senior UPDF commanders who were deployed to South Sudan to support the government of South Sudan after fighting broke out in Juba between rival factions of the SPLA. The UPDF was able to stabilize the situation in Juba and Bo after defeating a rebel advance in the capital city in January 2014. In 2017, Mohozi was appointed Senior Presidential Advisor on Special Duties, a position he held until December 2020. With such a profile, there's no doubt that Kainerugaba is a battle-hardened general and therefore deserves all the respect. He is described as a nonsense character in executing his duties while a very humble man while in his peers and off duty. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button such that you can be reminded whenever we put a new video. Much love.